The Type 31 frigates will be equipped with two new types of weapons for Royal Navy service. The five-ship General Purpose Frigate class, which is planned to be deployed in 2028, will uniquely feature a combination of a single 57mm main gun and two 40mm secondary bofors. So, how strong are these two weapons? Not since classes such as the initial Leander Light Frigate of the 1960s and 1970s has a Royal Navy warship been so gun-centric, with the single 57mm main gun and two 40mm secondaries offering the Type 31 platform considerable kinetic effect at short ranges. The combination has likely been chosen with an eye on threats such as swarming crewed or uncrewed small boats and aerial threats. In the era of the swarm attack either by unmanned aerial vehicles or small attack boats, light medium caliber guns appear to be the preferred choice. The Royal Navy's Type 31 will mount at least three modern gun systems which are well suited to dealing with multiple small targets, make a lot of sense when countering missiles, aircraft, unmanned aerial vehicles, suicide boats, and small boat swarms. The heaviest weapon the Type 31 will carry is the BAE Systems 57mm Mark 110 gun, internationally known as the Bofors 57 Mark III, which is already in service with the United States and several other navies. It provides high survivability and tactical freedom at all levels of conflict. The gun is remotely controlled by a fire control computer. As a redundancy measure, however, the ship crew can also operate the gun using instrument panels that are either on or in direct contact with the gun. It can deliver up to 4 rounds per second and has a range of about 10 miles or 17 kilometers. The whole system, including 1,000 rounds weighs around 14 tons. This is a very different weapon to the much heavier 114mm Mark VIII that delivers a single round every 2 seconds, and has equipped the majority of Royal Navy frigates since the 1970s. The Mark 110 gun is not optimized for supporting troops ashore but for multiple and unpredictable targets. Different ammunition types can be readily reselected, including pre-fragmented, programmable and proximity-fused ammunition, abbreviated 3P ammunition. It has a useful airburst mode to defend against boat swarms, but could switch to defend against aircraft or missiles. While the Bofor 57mm cannon may not seem as powerful as larger naval guns, such as the Otto Malara 76mm, some of its performances are comparable. Given its rate of fire and amount of explosive per shell, the Bofors gun actually achieves a higher amount of explosive fired per second than the Otto Malara 76mm. The gun mount holds 120 rounds but can be replenished by a three-man crew in the gun bay on the deck below. This weapons are a series of dual-purpose naval guns designed and produced by the Swedish arms manufacturer Bofors, since March 2005 part of BAE Systems, designed in 1964 as a replacement design for the twin-barreled Bofors 57mm L60 naval artillery gun. Although the Swedish Navy is the primary user of the gun, it has been exported widely by Bofors Defense for use by the navies of the United States, Canada, Croatia, Finland, Indonesia, Ireland, Malaysia, Mexico, Montenegro, Singapore, Thailand, and Brunei. The Type 31 frigate will not be fitted with 20mm phalanx close-in weapon system, but instead will mount two Bofors 40mm Mark IV guns. These lightweight 2.3-ton weapon can deliver 5 rounds per second out to about 12.5 kilometers or 77 miles, designed to respond rapidly at a wide range of elevations. According to manufacturer Bay Systems, the 40mm Bofors can utilize the 3P all-target ammunition as the 57mm Bofors, 
programmed for optimized effect against targets, including airburst patterns for new threats that were previously impossible to engage. 100 rounds are held in the gun ready to fire with the ability to shift between different types of ammunition. With the appropriate ammunition the Bofors 40mm Mark IV can provide an anti-missile capability. The 3P round provides gate-fused fragmentation effect against an air target and, if the geometry of the attack works out, the ship looks like it may be able to bring both mounts to bear on an inbound. Two guns firing smart fused ammo at 300 round per minute, for a 10 seconds burst, in theory puts 102 pounds projectiles in close proximity to the target each generating upwards of 3,000 fragments. It's not as definitive a kill as a direct hit from a 20mm phalanx round would be, but, it should be somewhat effective. By delivering heavier shells further away from the ship, the Bofors 40mm Mark IV is superior to the phalanx close in weapon system in some ways. The UK Royal Navy has revealed plans to install the Lockheed Martin Mark 41 vertical launching system into its five new Type 31 Inspiration class general purpose frigates. The fit will expand the range of missiles and capabilities the ships can deliver. Speaking on the 17th of May 2023, the Navy's first Sea Lord and Chief of Naval Staff Admiral Sir Ben Key said, we need to advance our ability to deliver lethal, long-range offensive fires against our adversaries. Hence the decision to ensure the Mark 41 vertical launch system is fitted to the Type 26 frigates, and we intend to fit it also to our Type 31 frigates. Installing Mark 41 in both future ship will enable the Royal Navy to potentially equip the ship types with a range of current and future anti-air, anti-surface, ballistic missile defense, and strike missiles. It will deliver surface-launched strike operations against a full spectrum of targets, Admiral Key added. Mark 41 is a multi-purpose vertical launch system for surface ships, designed originally for the U.S. Navy but now used by navies around the world. The Royal Navy's decision to install it on Type 31 reflects the frigate's design principle to provide flexibility to fit different capabilities as and when required, and what Admiral Key noted as the operational principle to deliver agility, flexibility, and greater mass at sea. <laughs>